Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to lay out your fins on a single eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock. If you follow my instructions, it will provide everything you need for your fins on one sheet. However, you are free to get as creative as you want with the size, shape, or even material for your fins. We're gonna start by laying everything out on the cardstock. Then we're going to cut out the fins, laminate them, and wrap them in matching duct tape for your themed rocket. First, we are going to lay out our fins on the cardstock using our ruler and a pencil. I'm going to take my ruler and where the zero line is, I'm going to line that up to the top of my paper somewhere near the right side. And I'm going to mark at six inches. I'm gonna do the same, just kind of going along towards the left side so that I'll be able to match up these lines in a moment. Next, I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm going to connect my dashes. So I'm gonna line this up. I have a dash here and a dash here, and I'm going to start from the edge of my paper and go as far as I can on the ruler, and then I'm going to continue this line and I take my ruler and I have these dashes already marked out. So here we end up with a straight line that's parallel to the top of our sheet, six inches down. Next, I'm going to mark five inches. My zero is on the edge of the paper and I'm going to mark at five. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I can put the five inch mark on the edge of the paper and mark where the zero is. It's still five inches. I'm gonna do the same thing, but this time on the top of the page. Zero is on the edge and five inches. Repeat at the top and five inches. Now I'm going to connect these two dots. I'm going to take my ruler and line this up and connect my dots. Now I end up with two rectangles that are six inches by five inches. These should be the same. I'm going to split these in half. Half of five is two and a half. So I'm going to put my zero in line with the edge of my rectangle and I'm going to mark where two and a half is. Now, if I did this correctly, I should be able to double check and this should also be two and a half inches, which mine is. I'm going to do the same thing at the top. Double check and it is correct. And then I'm going to connect my dots. I'm going to repeat on this side, I'm putting the zero at the edge of my paper, marking two and a half, checking and doing the same at the top. Checking, connect the dots. Now I'm going to create my triangles, my triangle fins. So I'll end up with one, two, three, four. I'm going to take my ruler and I want to try and match up so that I would be going from corner to corner. And this ruler is just slightly too small. So if you have your own larger ruler, you can use that. Um, this one that was in your kit, I can just eyeball and extend that line. So I know I can mark there. And I can see I'm just a little bit short, but I can see that I would pretty much reach that corner. 
and I can just move my ruler to extend. So now I have one, two, three, four triangles. I need to repeat so that I have an eight total. Once I have all eight triangles drawn, I'm ready to cut out my pieces. I'm going to laminate these so that they're a little bit more sturdy because they are a little flimsy. So I'm going to match up one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. You can take glue could be Elmer's glue, hot glue, a glue stick, whatever kind of glue you have. And we're just going to glue these together. I'm gonna use my scrap piece to spread out the glue. We wanna try and cover all of the surface area so we have a nice, strong bond. Put the other piece on and then wiggle it a little to get any of the air bubbles out. I'm gonna place this down so I don't get glue on my counter. And then I'm just gonna take my duct tape and weigh it down on it so that it stays attached. If you have paper clips, you can clip them together and that will clamp them together so that they adhere well. I'm gonna let my pieces dry. And then once they are dry, it will take a couple hours for this glue to dry. If you see my pieces were sticking up a little bit, I'm going to put them like this and just keep my duct tape on there so that it can they can all stick together so they don't peel up. Once these fins are dry, I'm going to come back and wrap them in duct tape. So I'm gonna let these dry and I'll see you soon. Now that my fins are dry, I'm ready to wrap them in duct tape so they match the rest of my themed rocket. I'm gonna keep my fins in the silver duct tape, but if you have a fancy color or pattern tape that you'd like to use, you may do so. I wanna make sure that I have a nice clean edge to start with. I'm going to roll out my duct tape and take one of my fins and match my 90 degree angle to the 90-ish degree angle of my duct tape. And line up the edge like this. It's okay if you have a little bit overhanging. I'm gonna take my scissors and cut right at the tip of the fin. And I'm going to fold over the edge. Fold up like this. And I wanna keep this nice and smooth, so I'm going to wrap this around my fin. I wanna to try to avoid any bumps or bubbles so that it looks like this. Then I'm going to repeat on this side.
Now I just have this little triangle piece left. So I'm going to cut out a small piece. And I'm going to try and make sure that it covers this whole area. And I'm going to stick one piece and tuck that under and then stick the other side and tuck it under. So now I have my nice sturdy fin that has two layers of cardstock glued together and it is laminated with duct tape. I'm going to repeat that for all three of my other fins. Now you have all four fins complete and you are ready to start your nose cone. After we have our nose cone, we will be able to attach it and then get our duct tape onto our rocket and attach these fins.